this thing right here, I'm going to call it I, is from MIT back then. Integrator, integration B. <laughs> MIT integration B. Pop up for me, Zach and Calendar. Oh, I, A, 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 Ha, are you here? Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video, yet another integral. And do not wonder about my glasses. I was having severe headaches for the past five days and they are simply not going away. And this is why I just have to wear those because my head is just exploding. It's okay for now when I wear it. I only have slight headaches, but yeah. Um, Advent calendar, whatsoever, we are going to dive right in. And we are going to solve this integral not using trigonometry, okay? No, no trigonometric substitutions. No, no one needs this dog shit, okay? We are not like certain sophisticated Asian gentlemen. We are going to do it the cool way. And for this, I would like to take a look at something kind of unrelated, completely different. We are going to take a look at an, M an MIT integral, okay? This thing right here, I'm going to call it I is from MIT back then. Integrator, integration B, <laughs> MIT integration B, dx over x plus one over x squared. Okay, this might seem unrelated at the moment, but if we do some simple manipulations, we're actually going to end up with this thing. We're going to do it at the end. At first, I would like to take a look at this thing right here. And actually, one of my guest speakers on this channel had solved it in a really nice way before, and I would like to give George Cooper some credit right here because he had solved it quite nicely and I'm going to present this way to you yet again. It's a really cool video and the original one you're going to find down there in the de description. Now, we're going to introduce a simple Euler substitution. Okay, this, this thing is known as Euler substitution if I remember correctly. Something substitution is just a substitution that basically preserves our upper and lower bounds when it's from zero to infinity. Okay, there, there are just substitutions out there that do this. Now, we are going to let um, t be equal to 1 over x, so that's equivalent to saying that x is nothing other than 1 over t. We're going to differentiate it, leaving us with negative 1 over t squared dt being equal to dx. And now we can simply plug this into here, okay? Take a look at top and lower bounds. If we let x go to 0, this actually explodes to infinity, our t. And if we let x go to infinity, positive infinity, this goes to 0 on the limit. Meaning, we are going to have negative 1 over t squared over, okay, you see, x is nothing other than 1 over t, and 1 over x is nothing other than t. Meaning, this down here is also being preserved. Meaning, we are going to get t plus 1 over t, but the whole thing squared, integrate with respect to t. Now we are going to make use of the fundamental theorem of calculus, and we are going to distribute negative sign into here to actually change the router upper and lower bounds. Now it's from zero to infinity yet again. And, and this is quite cool. You see, we have preserved our denominator right here. And now we are going to add i and i together. We are going to add one and one together, okay, to, to arrive at two. Now we are going to add i and i together to arrive at two i. This is basically making use of dummy variables. So, so you, if this is not familiar to you, let t be equal to your dog and x be equal to your dog, and hey, you have the same variable you are integrating over. Okay, meaning 2i is thus nothing other than. Using the linearity of the integral, we are going to bring those two integrals together. They have the same upper and lower bounds from zero to infinity. Also, we have the same denominator, kind of. I'm going to write it out at first. We are going to uh, do a bit more manipulations. And then plus 1 over t squared, t plus 1 over t squared. And I should go back to t on all of those. I'm terribly sorry. Integrated with respect to t. Now, I would like to expand this fraction right here by t over t. And you see, we actually have this t times this term. I forgot the square. Also down here, because we can just drag 1, 1 over t down here. And we're actually going to end up with the same denominator just with some few manipulations on here. Meaning overall, we are going to end up with, if we bring those two together, integral from zero to infinity of t plus one over t, I hope you can see where this is going, over t times t plus one over t squared, integrate with respect to t. And now, that's the same factor right here, it's going to cancel out. We can distribute the t into here, to end us up with the integral from 0 to infinity of 
t squared plus one. And this thing right here, I have used it extensively on this channel before. I, I have derived it before several times. This thing right here is nothing other than the inverse tangent, evaluated from zero to infinity. So this is tangent inverse of t from zero to infinity. When is the tangent going to be equal to zero? Well, at zero, meaning this is going to vanish. If we let t go to infinity, when does our tangent of something explode to infinity? Well, at pi over two, meaning overall, this is going to give us pi over two. Two times i is pi over two, dividing both sides by two because it's not equal to zero. It's going to leave us with the fact that our integral i is nothing other than pi over four. Okay, this is cool. We, we have evaluated this MIT integration B integral, okay, in a very nice way. Thank you, George Cooper. But, but what about this integral? How are we going to land here? Well, I would like to make use of a little manipulation on this integral, okay? Do remember that pi over four, we have just found this out. It's nothing other than the integral from zero to infinity of dx over x plus one over x squared. I want you guys to expand this fraction by x over x. Then we have x squared plus one over x. We're going to bring this one over x to the outside, giving us one over x squared. Take the reciprocal, gives us the x squared up here. I hope you could follow everything I did or just expand this fraction by x squared over x squared. Okay, that's the same procedure. And now, this is pretty good, okay? The, this kind of looks like this integral just with an x squared up here. How are we going to get rid of the x squared? Well, obviously by adding a zero, which is nothing but one minus one, okay? I hope you can see where this comes from because now we can break this up into x squared plus one over x squared plus one squared is going to cancel out. Those factors just like we did before. And then negative, this integral over x squared plus one squared, which is nothing other than this thing right here. I'm going to call it j, okay? Jens, the mathematical meme guy. Meaning overall, pi over four is thus going to be. Like I said, x squared plus one and x squared plus one squared is going to cancel out, leaving us with integral from zero to infinity of dx over x squared plus one, and also minus our j. This thing right here, we have just evaluated it. It's pi over two, okay? It's just the inverse tangent. We, we had done this. Meaning we can add j on both sides and subtract pi over four on both sides. Meaning overall, j is going to evaluate to pi over four yet again. Meaning, this integral has the same value as i, and, and this is quite cool in my opinion. <laughs> and, and then we are done. So this is quite the, the different approach, okay? It's, it's, it's a really cool approach. It's without substituting. What would you even substitute when doing this? sine wouldn't work out, you would end up with secants cubed. Tangent, you could plug the tangent into here and everything would cancel out nicely. Yeah, you can plug the tangent into there and just end up with the integral from zero to pi over two of cosine squared. Ah, d uh, this is an easy one, but, but I think this thing right here is uh, way, way cooler, feel, feel cooler. Das ist so viel cooler als der andere Scheiß. Okay, you dumb Spasten. I thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. If you like, don't forget to support the channel by taking a look at Papa Flemmy's shop. 10 to 15% of everything over the course of December. And I'm wishing you guys a flamble day. You know how to support the channel. Ciao.